Excuse us, we got a little bit lost. Can you show us directions? Can you tell us the way? No? Welcome back to our channel. You're watching Rubiego, and this is Hell's Gate. We're inside a geothermal pool. We are at this Java house in Alingam, Nairobi. We just got our rental car, which is very exciting. It's a weekend and that means it's a new adventure. Yes. Stay tuned for a video every week because every week new adventures. But you also have to check out our daily post on our Instagram and TikTok, which is I am Chibi Talk. We're in the intersection. Everybody wants to go. That's our horn, by the way. So we all end up in the middle of an intersection and no one can go anywhere. Gotta love Africa. What did you see? Literally, there's a guy doing somersault. Oh, it's just like a... Gotta hand it to these Nairobi street performers. They entertain you while you're stuck in traffic and then ask for a little donation. In true to form Rubiego fashion, we weren't prepared for this trip and we left without a place to stay for the night. We thought we had one, but it fell through. We thought we had another and that fell through also. And if this place doesn't look familiar to you, then you really need to watch our Mount Longonot video. Fortunately, we were able to overcome our trademark lack of preparation with our trademark creativity and resourcefulness. Good morning. We were able to salvage our situation last night and we found a really nice one bedroom to stay in. So we're waking up, we're right in town in Naivasha. Suri's having breakfast and Eitan's having coffee and Diana is in the shower. Good morning. Suri woke me up. You know how he woke me up? Da, 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 and like swinging the past on my face. This Airbnb was actually so cute and convenient. It had a nice size living and dining room combo, comfy and cozy bedroom, a decent bathroom, and a cute little kitchen, all packed into a compact space. And to top it off, our hosts were so friendly and accommodating. Bye hey guys, we'll see you when we get out of here. Bye. From the place we were staying, it was about 20 kilometers to Hillsgate National Park. We feel like Naivasha is becoming our second home. Do you agree, Etan? We really like Naivasha. We love Naivasha so much. Like, we're driving to this road and it's like, oh, I know this place. I know this place. Like, we feel like we can give people recommendations of like, go here in Naivasha. If you want to be in Naivasha budget friendly, go here. If you want to fix your tire, which if you guys have been following us, you know what happened on the other tire situation in the other trip. God, I hope it doesn't happen on this trip again. Right. All right, guys. At this point, have you liked our video? Have you subscribed? Have okay. you sent it to other people? Have you commented and said, Diana, oh my God, your lips look really nice today. Yes, you should comment that. Or, oh, Diana, go get your hair done. Oh, look at the greeting party. Coming in. I was once again reacquainted with Kenya Wildlife Service online platform. KWS, we love your parks, but you gotta work on this service, please. Most of the parks don't have very good cell service, so we're already off to a bad start. But beyond that, the payment platform is very unstable and glitchy. I want to pay for the parks! Please don't make it hard for me. Hellsgate National Park was established in 1984 by an act of parliament. The land used to be a Maasai land, whereby the name of Hell's Gate came as a result of certain volcanic activities that took place in this park. The land here is covered mostly by volcanic ash. The volcanic ash came about as a result of volcanic eruptions that took place from Mount Longonot, erupted in 1860, threw out uh, lava plus volcanic ash that covers mostly part of Naivasha area. So that is the rock we are calling Pride Rock. That's the one that inspired the movie Lion King. We had an underground side vent like 38 kilometers underground from Mount Longonot. This erupted here as well. But before this solidified, the Maasai people were used to be the original people here. They were the natives here. So 
This land about here, this grassland about here, used to be their marketplace for the Maasai people. When there was this eruption, this volcanic ash buried a lot of the Maasai people alive. They were buried alive. So, when this was happening, the Maasai people never knew, never understood this was volcanic activity taking place. So, the few who survived this managed to run to the west crying, Narasha, Narasha. That in Maasai is hell, hell. That's why this place was renamed Hell Gate. So let's walk around and see the face. The Maasai people had this medicine men. They normally use readily available materials, mostly. Uh, this is one of their medicine. Oh, this is in Mount Longono, This one is so, cure for running nose, headaches, colds and flu by sniffing. Smells like yeah. um the like eucalyptus kind. Uh, yeah. yes, yes, it smells like yeah. eucalyptus. Yeah. Is this the last one? This is the Leshwa. Because yeah, we, exactly, we, yeah. we, we hiked all the way to Mount Longonot Long and yeah. we saw this. And yes. last year in Masai Mara, uh -huh. they told us they use this also as toilet paper. Yes, exactly. And also it's a deodorant. It actually Masai. smells perfume. like uh, yeah, perfume. Yeah, yeah. And this one helps the Maasai. That's why they can just walk in the bushes. Without bugs eating them. Yes, without bugs eating them. And also very aggressive animals like buffaloes mainly depend on sense of smell. But once you wear this, they not detect you easily. Yeah. And this one, when you light it up with fire, it is small that it brings out a very heavy smoke. And this smoke is a lot of scent. And this one cures asthma. Excuse us, we got a little bit lost. Can you show us directions? Can you tell us the way? No? So Hellsgate National Park is one of the parks here in Kenya that it's very friendly in that you can do a walk, you can cycle, It's there's no predators here. This national park is very rich in Maasai culture. And you're looking at one such example. This very cool looking rock formation makes an incredible echo when you shout at it. Something that's become part of Maasai history and culture. So this is as far as we go here. We're not equipped to do anything more. Because of the rain, this is really washed out. It's a little bit treacherous. This is just a crossover, not a proper 4x4. And it's a rental but we can proceed on foot. At the bottom of the hill was a Maasai marketplace where we were encouraged to try on traditional clothing. Yunus. Your name is Yunus? Yes. My name is Eitan, very nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. We didn't have any space in our bags to buy anything from Yunus, but we strongly recommend that you check out her offerings when you're outside Hell's Gate National Park. A lot of it would look great in any home. And her nearby vendors are well stocked with ice cold beverages too. Next, it was time to head to the final Lion King destination of our day. That's the castle tower. Now, Mufasa fell and died there, but he was buried in the elephant's graveyard. We are really, really tired and sweaty because we just went and visited some Asai ladies, and then we just went to a Lion King spot. We thought that it wasn't going to be that far, so we left our auxiliary pack in the car, and that was a mistake because uh, it was like a we lot were, of hills. We were just handing him off, like hand carrying him the whole time, and that was, it was very hilly, and uh, that was hard. But now, we're gonna continue. There's a lot of volcanic activity taking place underground at the moment, even now. That's why we will see this volcanic steam. This steam is used by a certain company called Kenjen. You can see the pylons. These are carrying geothermal power from all carrier geothermal power stations. They sink wells, like about 3,000 meters, and get to the magma point, whereby they tap this uh, volcanic steam that is transported to the factory by pressurized pipe. This steam is used to run turbines to produce geothermal power. But our favorite part of Kenjen's operation is that there's a pool open to the public where anybody can swim and enjoy the amazing way 
This water makes your skin feel. The spa was exactly the refreshment we needed after the hot sun, but we had to get on our way to our place for the night. Hi. We just made a stop here uh, at Delamere, the deli, to get, I guess it's gonna be dinner because we're gonna be staying in the middle of nowhere. I just got chicken, rice, and beef. We said we're not gonna be late, but it looks like we're gonna be late again. Eitan's fueling the car right now, waiting for me. So this is a tented uh, camp, what we're staying at and it's in the middle of Naivasha, in the middle of nowhere and it is fully equipped. Zuri here is gonna help me show you guys where we're gonna enjoy the beautiful night. Right when you walk in, you get a shower here. So we're gonna go in and see how big the shower is. Oops! Whoa! There's a telephone! If you know, you know. Oh, this is a big shower! Me, you and Zuri can fit here and 10 other people. Everything here is operated by solar. Then you have a kitchenette here. You have a sink, you have a microwave, you have a fridge, really nice, a mini fridge. Right on here you have your toilet here. So this is fully self-contained. This is the bedroom side. A king bed! <laughs> you have this really beautiful bed. Then here you have two robes, very nice. One, two, then you have somewhere to hang your clothes. You got a sitting area to just relax, two night stands. If you're coming here and you have like multiple people and each everybody has, needs their own bed, there's two beds here that can be separated into two twins. Now to the most amazing part of this place. Ta-da! Look at this view. This is amazing. You got two chairs that you can sit here you have a hot tub that we're just getting ready for us right now it's filling up with hot water so excited you have a hammock here you want to read a book chill as you look at nature because this is what we see here now isn't this perfection we're gonna make use of this we have something here to use so we're gonna enjoy some jiko because it's cold 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 <laughs> Morning. Good morning. We are here waking up in this beautiful tent. Yeah, this has been really, really nice night. I'm a person who's always cold and Aten's always super hot. But last night we just left the, the screen. Like we didn't yeah. we left the big flap open. We just had the screen. Here, just like in the bus we stayed in, not too far away from here. It gets nice and cool at night, but they gave us really nice, cozy, oh soft God. blankets. The and beds here are so comfortable, the, the blankets are so nice. Yeah, so I think that's the best when, when it's cool at night and you get to bundle up. Because I like using blankets, but I don't, I, I also overheat. I, I think I get the concept of that. It was really nice to just cozy up in bed. Yeah, it's really, really nice. It's very pleasant. And then just the, the way you get to wake up here. Is so, it's such a treat. Can you imagine waking up and this is what you see? You. Oh, so nice. <laughs> so nice. Anyway, we're just about to leave to just wrap up Naibasha. Finally, it's time to leave our beautiful tent in the middle of nowhere. Sad, but we have to keep going to get to our next adventure, which you guys are going to be part of it if you subscribe and like this video.
So we have some fish eagles too. They are always couples. It's coming. Let's try here, Mike. Coming, the fish is coming. Yeah. Females are bigger, males are smaller, slender, and a little bit lazy. That's why they come afterwards, number two. So we have over 1,500 hippos around the lake, but during the day the hippos stay submerged underwater. They don't have the fur in the skin, so they have to be submerged underwater because of the, their skin cannot be stand the sun rays. But uh, in the evening they have to go out and eat grass because they are really uh, vegetarians. They are totally vegetarians. They don't feed on meat. They eat grass just like cows. They are not aware you are coming now. Okay. Look at them. Man. Look at them. He's the male showing his oh strong God, jaws. He's yeah. oh my he God. wants to show his strong jaws. Okay, we're not super close, right? No, 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 no. Okay. So this is water hyacinth. This is the thing you see floating on the water. The reason why this thing floats is because it has this stuff, the stems, like a sponge. If you press it, it's literally a sponge that makes it float on water. This is really not good for the aquatic system because these sponges like take away all the oxygen. So like it's like fighting with the uh, fish in the water for oxygen. So I'm gonna throw this fish. It's a tilapia fish. I'm gonna throw it to the fish eagle. So we're here at Lake Naivasha, and here at Lake Naivasha, I was a little bit skeptical and scared because of the hippos. But as soon as you go into the deep waters, the hippos are not there. So right three here, meters. three meters. But when you go really to the shallow ends is when you get a risk of um, being eaten and attacked by hippos. What happened to this house? Uh, this house is submerged due to a problem with the Great Rift Valley Lakes. Uh, there was uh, said that some time ago, like in 2016, there were some tectonic plates under us here that separated. The water uh, level rose. Now he had no option but to break off the doors. They are very expensive doors and windows because they could have been stolen at night. So this was a tennis field that we're on right now, and they just had to abandon. They just took the doors and windows off and abandoned this building. Hope you guys enjoyed our Na Lake Naivasha and Hell's Gate tour and we hope we've inspired you for you to take a trip and come to the Hell's Gate or Lake Naivasha. It's totally safe and if you're into really Disney, go to Hell's Gate because you are just gonna feel like you're right where you belong and if you've ever thought of going to Lake Naivasha, it is so refreshing. This was the best way to end our trip. Thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've subscribed to our youtube video because we have so much more adventures to come here in kenya and i hope we are an inspiration for you to travel with a baby because it doesn't mean that having a baby your life ends it could be the beginning of your new life random fun fact for people who aren't from kenya you can get cooking oil in laundry detergent containers here i'm not kidding it looks like a mini laundry detergent. We'll have so many memories to cherish forever from this great adventure, and we really suggest that you visit some of these places yourself. Naturally, we had to stop for some of Diana's favorite treats on our way out. So good. Cheers, babe. here at Ruby's at the Merlin Resort on the outskirts of Naivasha. We stopped here last year and we had lunch and you have 
in addition to the Choma Diana's getting right now, you have so many options. Um, there's all these different places to eat here. There's ice cream. There is really fresh, amazing smoothies. And if you recall from our Longonaut video, this is where we got a new tire. And if you don't recall, please go watch that video right now. So here we wrap it up at the same place. It must be a good spot for endings. Thank you so very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe.